Hello, and welcome back to the Calm and Connected podcast. I'm your host, Janine Halloran, and today I want to talk about music because music is powerful. So I want you to think about a song that just brings you back to something, brings you back to a really vivid memory. For me, it is the song California Love. It brings me back to high school every single time I hear it. I am at a dance and I'm dancing. I am in my best friend's car and we're driving around being ridiculous. We're having a good time. It's just, it's such a powerful memory for me. And it is based on the music that we were listening to at that time. It's like a soundtrack for your life. And so, you know, music has that power for people. There, It's a power where you can have um, positive memories associated with music. And unfortunately, you also can have negative memories associated with music. Music has the power to change your mood. Music can make you feel energized. Music can make you feel powerful. Music can make you feel calm. It's It's incredible the power that music has. So how can you use music as a way to cope? I have four ideas of ways that music can be used as a coping skill. So the first is actually just listening to music, making playlists. So if you are feeling unsure or anxious, you can make a playlist that makes you feel powerful. If you are feeling sad, maybe make a playlist that makes you feel happy or makes you laugh or makes you want to sing and dance. If you are feeling like you have no energy, maybe make a playlist that makes you feel energetic, feel um, like you're ready to go out and conquer the world. I actually have several playlists that I have on my phone. And when I am having a harder time, I like to listen to like a more powerful playlist. Or if I want more energy, I listen to a Zumba playlist to get my energy up. So it's a great way that kids and teens can um, use music as a way to help them cope and impact their feelings. Another thing you can do is actually play music. So if you're playing an instrument, you can express your emotions through that playing. You can express your emotions without words by just playing an instrument. It can be exhilarating and cathartic to play an instrument and to when you finally get it right and it sounds amazing and incredible or it expresses what you were thinking and feeling without words, it's powerful. If you don't play an instrument, you actually have one. It's your voice. You can sing. It's incredible to see people singing in the car or singing in the shower. You could also write music. I've actually worked with several teens who are phenomenal artists and writers. So, you know, I've worked with a couple of kids who are great at writing poetry and songs and song lyrics. And then I have a couple of kids I've worked with who are great at composing um, the melodies and the harmonies of music. It's incredible. And they talk about how powerful it feels when they are able to express themselves in that way. It feels amazing to be able to get their emotions out in that way. So if there is a person in your life who is great at that, then they should use that talent um, and they should try and see if it's something that helps them relax and helps them calm down. And then finally, you can move to music. So music and movement sort of go together. You can express yourself with your body. Sometimes a song comes on and you can't help but move. You can't help but um, feel like you are energized. Moving to music can be freeing and fun. When you see little kids and they see hear a song that they love or makes them want to move, their joy is incredible. It's infectious. And sometimes all you need when you're in a bad mood is to have a dance party. My challenge to you today is for you to take a few minutes and use music as a way of coping. See how much you can change your state of mind just by listening to some music. And one last thing, don't forget about yourself. Make sure you take a few minutes for yourself. Have some fun. Have an awesome day.